Okay. I don't know what's happening, but I've had to change streaming things. So I've got it working, but it's not working, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, so that's, that's, it's annoying. Let's see if I can fix it. It literally said, oh yeah, just, just log in and log out again. I have, I have Streamlabs, I have, you're not doing anything. Well, I guess we're going to have no Brian alert box today. That's quite depressing. Well, is it just me that's having like a, a black screen? Are you flying home today, Lily? Damn, that sucks. I hope you had a great time though. Oh, I should like my own stream. I can't even tell if it's working. Anytime now. Anytime now. <gasps> you got a fake one, Brady. Oh no. Oh no, it is. It's working. Okay, well, I just had an error occurred, but at least the chat's popping up. I really don't need to watch myself. I just wanted to make sure the chat's working because my regular one's not working. Oh, right. While I say hi, I need to put moisturizer on because as you can see, I look very rough. It looks like I just got out of bed. I roughly did. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are doing that, Lily, at the moment. I feel like everyone's moving to Queensland. Um, so yeah, look. For anyone who's been tuning into the gaming channel recently, you'd all know that I've had a rough week. Um, well, it was a good day yesterday. I mean, I don't want to say good day because none of them have really been good days, but it was a better day. Um, so I really can't bring myself to like get ready or do anything like that besides getting dressed. So, but in saying that, at least I'm taking care of my skincare. So that's good. You know, we're still moisturizing. <laughs> being good but yeah I need an emotionally support build so that's what I'm doing today and I'm exciting how am I actually feeling today oh, super are we really gonna dive in that too already well I was listening if anyone saw on Twitter Olivia Rodrigo's new album Sour came out and I was listening to that this morning and I had I had a few tears streaming down my face and then I just had breakfast and it's like 11 30 couldn't finish it all so my appetite's not quite back, but better. Better. Not great, but good enough that I can, for now at least, that I can sit down in front of a camera. If I get worse and I start breaking down, I will just end the stream. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, that album's really good. It's sad, but it's great. Let me just put my eye cream on. Bear with me. Plus, I gotta respond to messages. Also, you'll all be glad to know that I, um, what's the call it? I've been sorting through all the contest entries. I'm quite warm in this jumper. I mean, it's cold, but like, I'm warm at the same time. I don't know what to do. My hair's also a mess. You know, just, it's a weekend. We're gonna relax, all right? It's a Saturday. <laughs> what's wrong with you? What did I miss? Oh, uh, I just now had a great weekend. Yeah, chat, you honestly do have to listen to Sour. It's great. Very sad, but like it's a great album. Okay. Let's. Let's get all of the pieces out of the bag first. Let's do that. And then let's continue on. Do I like Bold Thanos? I saw the photo where he's, um. Kind of like. What's the call it? Um, swapped his heads. That was pretty cool. Do do do. Oh, there are my stickers. I thought I'd lost them for a second there, so I just went really quiet. I still haven't even said hi to everyone. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, hey, Francis Flynn, Lauren, hey, Lego superheroes, Hayden, Ken, Alice, Joe. Oh, bad, bad, right. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this, all right? 
because I have some very strong thoughts on that right now. Especially after last night's episode. Because like I've gotten to the point now where I'm just like, yeah, I'm 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 done pretending that like telling people they can't watch Star Wars is fine. Like I'm out. See you, Lily. So the bad batch last night. All right, no spoilers. I mean, it's not really like a a an episode. I feel like I could really go and just like spoil for everyone. And they'd be mad. Um, but the character that pops up this week, because all right, let's excuse me, super. It is not. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so I feel like tech usually is happening. Oh. Not on my end. Um, what was I going to say? Alright, yeah, so the Bad Batch. Okay? I've always been told by, like, men, my, by many people. There's, like, there's this feeling on, like, I feel like TikTok and Twitter are, like, mostly. But, like, even just by people that, like, oh... You can't watch The Bad Batch because you haven't seen The Clone Wars. You can't watch it because you don't know, like, the characters. You won't, you won't get it type of thing. You don't even know The Bad Batch. Right? And, like, the whole reason I watched it... Well, like, I am watching... It's not like I don't want to watch The Clone Wars. Like, I'm watching it. I'm getting through it slowly. Um, but, yeah, the whole reason I wanted to watch it is because I enjoy Star Wars. Okay, I love having weekly Star Wars content. I love being able to talk about that weekly Star Wars content, all right? And I know a few of the characters, I don't know like their whole backstory and everything, but I will one day, right? It's like basically, my mom's calling me, it's like watching the original trilogy and then watching the prequels. That's what this is. I don't know what happened, but I know where they are right now. And, like, I get that I'm probably not going to pick up as many of the references as, oops, as some other people might. And some of the characters. And things like that. But I am so sick of, and I, I made a tweet about this. I am so sick of the Star Wars fandom. And just people in general gatekeeping the franchise. Being like, oh no, you can't watch it because you've seen this or oh, you probably like you don't understand it's like why can't I enjoy Star Wars for what it is and I feel like I've kind of let it like I've just pushed it under the rug for a while but after last night's episode like ha oh. because let me tell you for anyone who doesn't want me to am I okay to say what character was in it like it's only just someone that's in it that's all right Asian have fun would you would you kill me if I let for, if I let you know what the character was? <laughs> I liked the build of Diagon Alley better, Bryn. Brian, that was bad. Yes, you don't mind. Okay. No, no. I mean, it's only a character. All right. Well, I'll tell you what where they're from. They're from the Mandalorian. I mean, if you've seen the, act, I'm just gonna say it. They're in the trailers. Okay. It's Fennec. All right. Ming, Ming Na Wen, you know, the one who like voices Mulan, she's in Ma Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Her from The Mandalorian is in The Bad Batch, okay? She's in the trailers, so it's, it's I wouldn't technically count it as a spoiler in like full-fledged terms. But yeah, she's in the episode and I'm watching it and I see her pop up and I just wanted to cheer so much because I was like, take that to every person ever who said to me, you can't watch this because you haven't seen the Clone Wars. It's like, excuse me, like, there's a Mandalorian character, someone from a new show, and they're in there, okay? Like, yeah, it made it more exciting because I knew who she was and I had the backstory, but it just showed me, it's like, it doesn't matter, like, what you've seen or not. Like, we didn't know much about Fennec and the Mandalorian, now we're, um... Now we're watching, like, her backstory. So, like, what's what's the problem? So I just, I made a tweet. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm so sick of pretending that that attitude's fine. It's not. It's toxic behaviour. And I really wish people would stop it. That's where I'm at right now. But, yes, I'm really enjoying The Bad Batch. Like, I think just 
consistency wise throughout the episodes it's a lot better than I've had of an experience than the Clone Wars like I feel like the Clone Wars like there's some really good episodes here and there but then like there's also a lot that I'm just like meh thank you Vincent for the five dollars your videos are amazing keep up the good work I appreciate the effort you put in thank you so much oh I know I said this on my gaming channel so there's gonna be a few kind of like repeat stories today um but because my week hasn't been the absolute greatest <laughs> In fact, it's really, like, brought me down. Let me grab my tea because I'm about to start crying if I continue on like this. Um, because of that, I haven't... Because this is a topic that I do want to talk about today. I want to talk about, like, all of the new Harry Potter sets and, like, let you know um, my thoughts since all of my re my reviews at the moment are all out. Like, all of the ones that I can do are out. Um, because of like where I've been at this week I have not been able to kind of sit back and like take in how well with Brian reading the super chats I couldn't get the thing to work that streaming thing Streamlabs was not working so I had to go back to my old one so we can't have Brian today unfortunately Echo was in before the show right yeah he was in episode he was in season three four um but yeah I've just been like I haven't been able to sit and enjoy and kind of take in like how well those videos have been doing like I'm so proud of them and I see the numbers and I'm like wow that like that's like amazing but usually my attitude would be completely different and it's not because I'm not grateful it's just because like I've just been so down it, it like really sucks because like this has been an amazing week for my channel Brian was also very glitchy on the game stream oh really Hmm, that's interesting because I opened it up and it was like, oh yeah, updating. And then as soon as it finished updating, it wouldn't let me stream. And I'm like, excuse me. Speaking of game streaming, I want to do either Mario Kart or Arkham Knight today. I mean, I'll go, I'll film my video first before we start or before we do anything else. But I've been wanting to do them for a while. Oh. So let me know. It's more about if you want to immerse yourself into the entire story, you need to watch everything, but that takes time and you can always go back. Exactly. See, my theory is if I was, I needed to watch The Bad Batch now so that I don't fall more behind. <laughs> Mario Kart, please. Okay. Oh, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts on Harry Potter since when were the results of the contest come out? I've gotten results. So I've asked, I've asked my mom because she's judging. And then I've asked my other friend, she let me know hers. And then I had two other people who have gone back to me. Is it coffee or hot chocolate? It's tea. <laughs> and then I've still got to pick one more. You want to know what happened, right? So I went through, because I was like, you know what? I need to do this. I need to pick me up. Let's look through of all the contest entries. So I went through and I managed to narrow it down to a list of 36 or something like that. And I was like, oh no, like my goal was to try and get down to 12. So I had, I narrowed it down to 36 and that was me being like really, really like picky. Then I was like, right, I need to get this down even further. Then I got it down to 16. Then I was like, no, this is, this is going to struggle. And then I got it down to 12 in the end. And now I've got to pick three from those 12. Like, do you know how like rough that is? <laughs> Who? That is rough, okay? Like, there are so many. And, like, what I want to do is because there are so many and, like, I can't give everyone a prize. I've only got so much land budget um, that's been allocated for this. Um, because I can't give everyone a prize, like, I, I'm going to, like, go through and I'm going to, like, go through, like, my favourite, like, 36 that there are. So, where's... What's our... What... What's our friendship scale one... Who are you, 10 boyfriend? Oh, right. I was like, what do you want about? <laughs> I get it. I get it. Brittany! What is it? Hello. How much is this set in Australia? $650. I, if, you know, if I was just patient, because, like, especially because I didn't even build it straight away. Like, I bought it because I was like, oh, I don't know when it's going to, like, be back in stock for a long time. I missed you. Oh, Brittany, you should have been tuning into the gaming stream. We had a lot of, we had a lot of deep and meaningful chats this week. <laughs> I got very emotional. I bought, I bought a line. No, actually, I did cry in one of them. You couldn't see me, but I was crying. <laughs> oh, you got so many, video so many videos to catch up on. Yay. I mean, they're all good videos as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
What's the contest about? So I held a photography contest on my subreddit. And now I've got to pick the winners. So yeah, I've I've man I've picked two of my like my winners because I'm getting everyone to pick three, and then so I can see what everyone else's favorites are. And then like a lot of them could overlap. Like I know my mum and I, like I think two of our like two of ours matched up. Um. So then from there I'm gonna like narrow down the three. But yeah, I'm gonna do a video where we go through. I have a subreddit. Yes, it should be in the description. It also might not be. Um. Sorry. But, yeah. BFB best friend. Oh, right. I was like, not everyone dates everyone. What? Um, so, yeah. there. I'm going to do a video and we're going to go through, like, my 36 favourites that I had. And, like, the the top 12. Or, I'm not even going to, like, say which ones were the top 12. But I'm going to go through all of them. How's the Pogapal shampoo? Is it the best on the market? Well, here's the thing. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok being like, it makes your hair fall out. And like my hair like naturally falls out quite a lot. But I was like, this seems a bit concerning. So let's get another shampoo so that I can like kind of space it out and then it doesn't be as dramatic. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, I know, we could have just wrote best friend. Brady is so lazy. Oh my gosh. Sad I missed out on the Lego contest. Yeah, I want to do one again in the future. Because, like, you get three things of land budget a year. So, like, you get one in, like, the first quarter, one in the second quarter. Oh, Top Bricks, thank you so much for becoming a member. If only Brian was here. Honestly. Oh, wait, no, it's not Brian. If only the dancing gift was there. It would make it so much better. Anyway, thank you very much. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? I do want to do another one. So, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. You can only have 50 letters, can't you? Never mind. Um, yeah, so I do want to do another one because you get three things of land budget. Specifically with this one, like, I just don't have much I want. I mean, there's a lot of, like, June 1st sets that I want to try and get. Like, I want to try and get that Disney Princess Beauty and the Beast castle through it and do a build stream on that. Same with the 4 plus Pluto one because that's 80 bucks here and there's no way I'm paying that much. But if that one sells out, I'll just wait for it to go on sale and do a build stream on it. Um, I, I think the Avengers stuff will sell out so I don't think I'll get be able to get the Avengers compound. The Daily Bugle will sell out so I can't get that either. Um, so I want to try and get a lot of the June 1st sets. And maybe the police station. And then, of course, there's, like, all of the contest ones as well. So, yeah, I need to get... I need to at least choose them. I feel like I might have to contact the winners before I make the video on it. So that I can start getting, like, their addresses and things like that. So that everything's ready to go. So that when I do submit it, which will have to be before the end of June. Because technically the sets haven't come out yet. So I can't necessarily, like, talk about it. Oh, wait. I technically can't order them because they're out yet, but if I do it early enough, then by the time they actually go to process it, they'll be out. That's my theory. Brady, thank you so much for the $2. I'm planning on getting my nails done for prom and mock planning. Are you gonna, you gonna get, get that, do with that at the same time? That's the question. Gotcha. <laughs> Shampoo merch win. <laughs> Function of beauty, everyone. Jokes, I probably shouldn't shout them out, considering I'm not sure why the profile pic change. I needed a change. I needed a refresher. I'm tempted to draw another a figure to make it, but right now I can't. Right now, just no. How is building Lego with long nails? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. One of mine's really long right now. That one and that one, but for the most part, like they're they're like normal enough. I hate like getting my nails done at a salon. I the last time I did it was New Year's Eve like two years ago, and I hated it. <laughs> I went because all of my friends at the time were going, and I was like, oh yeah, like like I'll go, we'll see. And then I was like, yeah, I hate this. And then they have to like file it off so then you have this really weird like halo effect where it's like your regular nails there but then there's the part that's all been filed down so there's like a little bump in it and it looks stupid um like I just I hate it because I'm like yeah they look cool and all but like I can't do anything so I would rather just go and buy some nail polish and just just do it myself 
men as well, I can take it off easily and my nails are normal and natural and, and healthy and all that. So it's great. Perks of being an Aussie, not a lot. <laughs> yeah, we can walk around without COVID right now, but there's not much else. I mean, I'm grateful for that, but at the same time, none of our country is going out and actively thinking, hmm, I should stay safe and I not go get vaccinated. That's a whole nother topic. Why is Holly talking about crying? What happened? Haven't yet. Not today. It's been a rough week. And like, I could just sit here and be like, yeah, I've had a great week and lie and be like, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I'm doing great. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm so sick of lying. Did you go to a climate strike yesterday? No, I didn't even know that they were happening. And then I was like, oh, there's a school climate strike. And I was like, damn it. Secondly, why didn't that happen when I was at school? I feel like one of them did, but we were never told about it. I would have so gone to that. Because I feel like it makes so much more of an impact if you are, um, like a student or something. Because then the government's like, oh no, they're missing out on their education. And then it's like, yeah, and I'm going to miss out on my future. When are the contest results posted? Soon. I'm getting everyone to get back to me with the their answers for their favourites today. So bear with me, okay? Bear with me. It should be by Monday. Should be by Monday. What part of the Hogwarts Castle are you building? The Great Hall. Apparently that's all we can ever build here. Damn it, I need 13 of these. I should probably move all of this stuff over so that I can face you a bit more and build. Why am I spending so much money on the Goblet of Fire minifigures from 2005? <laughs> Surely it would be cheaper just to buy the full sets because like those figures are expensive. Speaking of everyone, that Brickling store didn't get back to me with the Pizza Planet truck quote at my gaming stream attendees. I say gaming stream, it wasn't even a gaming stream. It was a it was a random everything stream. But I think I might just order it. And then I asked myself the question, why am I spending so much money on Toy Story 3 sets? And then I'm like, no, you want to know why? Because you've always wanted it. Just go and get it. So no Toy Story, not yet. Not yet. I messaged someone else about it because I found another one, but there's really not that much. Potentially super yes. Potentially. How long do you think it will take and finish until you finish the set? I mean, I'm doing it slowly, but I also, I don't even know if I have the motivation to get through it at the moment. And I feel like that's going to get worse soon. But, like, right now I just really want to build something, and since I have nothing new... Well, that's another thing, actually, is, like, all this new stuff's about to come out. So this is going to be put on the back bench. How much do you spend monthly on LEGO products? Well, it changes it changes each month because, like, I'm not the type of person that's just going to go buy LEGO for the sake of it a lot of the time. So, like, January, all of my favourite themes had sets coming out. And there was, like, a few other sets that I was interested in, so I bought a lot, and I think I spent... And I'm not saying this to, like, flex and be like, oh my gosh, look at me. I can spend all of this money on Lego. And also, remember, this is Australian dollars, but I spent over a thousand dollars on that. Because I bought, I had to buy most things at full price to make all of the videos and things like that. Um, and then, like, what was it, March or April or something? No, I, yeah, March and, like, February, it was only, like, fifty dollars. Like, it wasn't much. At least yours is not fake. <laughs> True. It was expensive though. I'll tell you that. I bought a shelf to display the bugle. I'm so excited to get it. I'm really excited to get it too. I feel like that one's going to be a really hard one to build. For many reasons. But I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's the problem. Like, I'm at the point now where I feel like I need to rearrange all of my sets again and, like, properly break down some of them that I don't 
feel like having up on display. For example, my Imperial Shuttle that I bought in March. I thought I was going to love that set. I was so excited. Really underwhelmed me, so I can't see myself putting it on display anytime, so I'm thinking I might um, break that one down and put it in a Ziploc bag, just so that I have more space. I do not know Selena. I think I think I know who she is. It's that isn't that didn't J Lo play her in a movie once? If that's her, then I know of her, but I don't know who she is. So there's that. Oh, you yes, and I did tell you. When? Now, live streaming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Maisie. Ah, uh, don't you love when your family listen to you? <laughs> pardon me. I said pardon me, I took a drink. What was that about? Yeah, Jello played a movie? Fair enough. I just want the people to come out so bad. Same here, Spruce. Spruce, do you want to build some of it on me? I, no, do you want to build some of it with me? <laughs> do 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 do. I watched Up yesterday and the opening scene gets me every time. I was crying so hard. Oh, I don't even want to think about that right now. I will stop bawling my eyes out. Oh. Like I was saying the other day, like I really want to watch Toy Story, but I just, I can't bring myself to do it. Do you ever struggle with keeping your shelves dusted? I have a pretty large Lego collection and it took me over two hours to take everything off the shelves and dust them. Well, tech. I... Bought glass doors for my Hogwarts collection to help with that reason because I was like, if I can dust less often, at least just part of my collection, amazing. But a lot of the time it's like, especially like where my Disney castle is, like if I see that's getting dusty, I'll walk by it and just like brush it off. And then every few months, like I will go and sit down and properly do it. But yeah, you just need you need to do it regularly. That's the problem. I also try and rotate out my sets quite often so that like um, there's not too much dust that gets collected and things like that. Yes, yeah, Bruce, I think I'm going to do a bit of it off stream and on stream. You cried during up. I cried during most Pixar movies. <laughs> that whole opening scene, geez, I I'm going to cry thinking about that. <laughs> How are you? Not the best. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, I shoved my Disney castle inside a display case, no more dusting it. Yeah, I love those little, um, that's all right, Bellatrix. Have fun. Um, yeah, what's I'm gonna call it? I love the little, like, like, those plastic display cases, and I've been so tempted to get one for this. Or at least I think I will in the future one day. Um, but, like, I'm also just don't know where I'd put them. <laughs> Like, if I had a bunch of them, I don't think I could do that. Oh, Spruce, that sounds fun. Big brain putting your underwater sets in an empty fish tank. That's sick. Dude, imagine that, right? With, like, either the entire, like, Atlantis wave or even, um, like, the new Ninjago sets. You got your friend set today? Did it finally arrive? Nice. Pardon me. Okay, now I'm getting warm. Let's take off my little fluffy jumper. This is like one of those, like, um, what's the call it? Eh. I got this from Next in the UK instead of getting a dressing gown. Oh, dear. Help. I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. There we go. All right. Fluffiness out the way. Let's build. Oh, see, look at, my, look at my hair. It's a mess today. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Or oh, rescue from the mer people inside a fish tank. Don't tell me that. That's, that's expensive. I'm never going to get that. Because, like, even though, I guess, if I stopped buying new sets theoretically after after time i could go back and buy every single old harry potter set but i don't think i'm ever gonna do that 
that just seemed like too much money for me. Like I'd go back and buy a few of them. Like I'm thinking about getting like the Pizza Planet truck, for example, which I really wanted, which honestly I'm just, I think I'm just gonna do it today. I don't think you can, Spruce. I think it's hiding. Wait. There. But like, yeah, I really want the Pizza Planet truck and Flo's V8 Cafe. Flo's V8 Cafe, there's no one selling at the moment here. <laughs> that sucks. See ya, Bellatrix. We're also going to do a game stream tonight, but I know that might be late for you. Or at least I hope so. Yes, do it a bit of retail therapy. My thought, exactly. What VFX job did you do? I did like compositing for the most part. The specific title would be Junior Compositor. Only old sets I really like are the modulars that like money. Yeah, that's completely fair. Spruce, one day you'll get some fancy adult job with a salary and then you can get it. Because that's the thing, it's like I'm kind of tempted to play Arkham Knight because like that was the first game I ever bought with my my thing. I mean, we could do, we could do Arkham today and Mario Kart tomorrow. Because, like, Arkham Knight was the first game I ever bought. Then again, we could I could also say that I'm going to start it. And then, jokes on me, I start and I rage quit at the um, Batmobile levels. <laughs> See you, Bellatrix. See, I want to do them on my old Harry Potter sets. But, like, the problem with, like, specifically the 2010 and 11 castles is they're all mixed up at the moment. I want a Mario Kart stream so bad. Well, you will join in. I mean, that one will only do shortly. Do a range of things today. I don't know. I have not watched Mako Mermaids. Nope. Nope, not at all. Don't ever plan to either. Just, just no. Should I get Hogsmeade? I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but it looks good. Here's the thing with Hogsmeade, right? And I went back and I looked at photos of Hogsmeade from, what some I call it, from the theme parks. They did the Hogsmeade like a half building. Three broomsticks I love and I love the little side builds and it's really cute. But as a whole, I don't think it's one of the best ones. I think if you don't, like if you don't need any more Hogwarts castles or you want something different that we haven't gotten before or that you haven't gotten, Hogsmeade number one. I'm thinking of doing like a video, at least once I get the other four sets, where I kind of talk about all of them, like which ones you like. I mean, I could do that for the ones that I have so far, for those of you who like care. Or I can just wait and do all of them, but I know a lot of you guys would want to buy them on like day one and things like that. Is there any more videos that you would like me to, to do with those four sets that I have? Please let me know. I'm also, I also really want to try and do like a mock using that new modular system. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier. Which Mario Kart game is it? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. On the Nintendo Switch. Will there ever be a Holly Discord? Nope. I don't go on Discord at all. Like I could, I could delete the app right now. I, I never use it anymore. Speaking of Brady... I'm waiting for my Qantas refunds so that I can go and open that P.O. box because it's way overdue. Which is your more flexible leg? My right leg. Don't know if it was a dancing last night, I'd, um, late, earlier this week. I was very stiff on my good leg. But my middle split was looking good and I was like, yeah, go me. Yay, we've done first bag today. What modular building would do you think would be best to fit next to the Daily Bugle? See, Josh, I would say the police station as well. However, and I said this in my announcement video, there's so much of it that like is kind of similar. Like you've got the same plants out the front by the door. You've got a new stand on the same like kind of side. So I feel like maybe the corner garage would be one. The brick bank was too similar in colour scheme. But out of the newer ones, I'd say the corner garage or even a, even assembly square. 
that would be another good one. But I think the police station needs to be like in between a building. Like even if you put half of the bookstore. Will you get the Sesame Street keychains? I'm really tempted to get Elmo. I even also want like the Donald and Daisy keychains from Disney. Because I've got Minnie Mouse. I'm thinking of spending $30 postage to sip something for P.O. Box. <laughs> Might be worth it. Aww. Thank you. You should make a tier list of your Harry Potter sets. I think I've said this before, but I actually filmed that video ages ago. And then half of it didn't record and I couldn't be bothered to redo it. So I think I will redo it at some point, but I don't know when. If I wasn't, I'm, I'm not even kidding when I say this, if I wasn't streaming right now, I'd probably could burst out crying. Do you have a Bricklink? I do. Otherwise, how would I buy sets off Bricklink? <laughs> I need to have an account, otherwise I can't purchase things. It's $100 to send my things to you. How much did you... Oh my gosh. That is nuts. That is nuts. Stark answer. <laughs> What's your favourite Harry Potter movie? The Prisoner of Azkaban. I got three... I got through... Not really super. Um, I got through three of them while I was building the sets that I got sent. And I'm going to finish the rest of them when I get the other ones. Which, as we've discussed, we're going to do chess first. Then forks. Or, or check. I don't know. Do you want to see a review on the buildable figures and forks like ASAP? Because I feel like that's a thing. Should I just get? I should just get them all on on release day, shouldn't I? Need to stop being a baby. Chess, buildable figures, forks, flying lesson. There we go. A knife. Because, like, part of me was like, oh, I should just, like, like, I won't get them when I go to the Lego store. I'll, like, order them off shop at home or even um, just get them when they're in Kmart, which means then it would be, like, a week delay. And I feel like, especially with the buildable figures and forks, like, they're the type of set that you can look at and decide whether or not you want it. I've stuck this upside down. Oh, no. Oh no. I cut it down for $300. Yikes. What Harry Potter set from the new wave I sh should I get? I seriously think, at the moment, out of the four that I've had, sorry, the four that I have, the bathroom is the best one. Like, I want to say the Chamber of Secrets, but honestly, for a set that's called the Chamber of Secrets, it's, it's not the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> There we go, I fixed it. Okay, I should focus on that. But yeah, just, the bathroom is the best one. A hundred percent. Have I reviewed the bathroom? I have. I've reviewed the bathroom, the chamber, Hogsmeade, and Fluffy. Basically anything that's not a retail exclusive. <laughs> Justin seems to agree with you on the bathroom set. Because here's the thing with the bathroom set, right? It's, it's a cheap set. So, like... It's, it's really easy for a lot of people to go and get it. It gets, you get two characters, oh sorry, one character we haven't seen since 2011, one we haven't seen since 2002, and one that's just never existed. It's a really neat build. It's a self-contained scene. Like, it's really good. And then if you do go and buy the Chamber of Secrets, it's a perfect complement to it. Whereas the Chamber of Secrets, I agree, Spoos. <laughs> But the Chamber of Secrets, right, it's also a beautiful set. I think it's my second favourite out of those four. But, like, the Chamber of Secrets is very, very empty for what it is. Like, I think the Chamber of Secrets as a whole, like, if you only want to buy one Hogwarts Castle set, that's the one you get, because you get everything. And it, like, it's really, really good. That and the Great Hall. The Great Hall has better figures than, I think, than the Chamber. But the Chamber as a build... 
amazing. But like literally, you could get the bathroom in the Chamber of Secrets and you'd be all good. You'd be all good. There we go. I wish we could get a basilisk for like $70. I mean, there's that new creator set with the crocodile that like has a snake build, so technically. Will you review the candy castle stage? Should we do it right now? I'll go get it. <laughs> So here's the thing with the video sets, right? I'm thinking, because like now that like, mo like I wanted to focus on Harry Potter first, but like I've got all of them and I don't really want to do individual reviews on them. So I was thinking of doing like an entire like wave review and then dividing it up into sections. Would you want to see that? Because I genuinely really like some of them. Or should I just like post them like bit by bit while still doing other videos because like I don't like for some of them I feel like I would make it like my one video for the day but like for others I feel like this one for instance like I'd post it alongside something else yes I'd like to see that that's the thing Joe that's why I feel like a wave review could also be really good yeah one big review watch overview okay I'll do that then I'll film because here's the thing, right? I could do... I might do that today. I might film that today and do all of the video sets because I know so many of them I just need to put away. And I'll, I'll include the boom box in it as well at the very end, even though that has its own review. Divide it. Yeah, wave review. Okay. So we'll do a wave review. I'll film that today because then the next video I'm going to do is my fixing the figures one. But like, yeah, let me know. Is there any other Harry Potter videos that you want to see out of those four sets? Besides the fixing the figures one. Because like, I've, I've been planning that for months. I've had a list written down on my phone ever since the sets got revealed. So I'm going to do that. But I had to wait for a few more pieces. Should I get the Rise of Voldemort set? Yes, that I think is retiring this year. Have you heard of Lego Rewind? No. I have not. Are you going to make any content on the Daily Bugle? I wanted to, I don't think I'll do a review because that's going to take a very long time. And by now, everyone's already watched that review. So I really want to do build streams. And I do want to make some sort of video on it. Because once again, it's an expensive set. So I'd like to make some of my money back off that. <laughs> Thank you. Wear the Harry Potter wig when you build Harry Potter sets. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny, actually. Add the original, which I'm fixing up soon. Thank you. The minifigures are so top-notch, too. I also want to do, like, a full wave review for Harry Potter when I get all of them. Just, like, a summary. It won't be so much of, like, a review, but it will be more so, like, here were my thoughts on... Here are my overall thoughts on each set. Here's where I think you should spend your money. Because, like, after looking at all of the sets, I'm, like, fluffy, like, the only reason you should buy the fluffy set is if you really want that fluffy build. Which, even then, chances are you could probably just order all of the parts and then buy the heads off Brickling. Then again, I think the heads will be expensive, but, like, there is no reason, unless you are desperate and fluffy is your favorite animal or the philosopher stones your favorite movie that you should go out and buy fluffy on day one that's my opinion i just think that set on its own is very underwhelming like see here's the thing with fluffy let me get him oh no i just knocked him from a box that's awkward okay here's the thing with fluffy like I'm not just, look, his head just fell off. Like, it's flimsy. And I even forgot to mention that in my review because I personally hadn't had that happen to me before until after I finished filming it. So here's the thing. Fluffy, I think, is better in person. Right, I will say that. It's better in person. But he's got such tiny feet that the entire weight of this dog would crumble over the size of these feet. The grey Mixels joints aren't great. And this is the main attraction to this set because the set itself is very, like plain very kind of boring all right 
Like, there's not a lot to it. You have to have an empty room so you could put Fluffy in, and then the other two rooms are practically empty as well. The Devil's Snare is just pathetic. So, like, if Fluffy isn't amazing, then why would you spend full price money on getting that set? It's not a thing. Oh, really, Jedi Bob? That sounds fun. They all get to go to conventions. I want to go to a convention. I want to go to Disneyland. I'm just waiting for the day where the Australian government is like, hey, if you're vaccinated, you can do quarantine-free travel. And then that day I'm booking a flight to Disneyland. I kid you not. I've missed a step. This set is so confusing. It really is. Oh, that's why. No. Do I just put that there? Is there supposed to be nothing underneath it? The figs aren't anything special either. No. Like, as much as I love robe builds, like the robe pieces and things like that, not worth it. <laughs> like I love those robe pieces, but like that's not a that's not a reason to buy the set. And that's why Hogsmeade, I feel like, is the third best set out of those three. Because like the what's some call it um what's it called hogsmeade the three broomsticks beautiful looks gorgeous i love it honey jukes weaker but still looks really nice when it's like put next to the three broomsticks all right like i just wish it was a bit better could have been better it wasn't shame but it's not like it's horrible but the figures suck. Like, there's no one really interesting. Like, they look great for who they're supposed to be, but, like, it's boring. Harry's not even in winter clothes. <laughs> he, the poor man needs a scarf. Honestly, one, one of my fixing the figures things is that Harry Potter, and all I'm going to give him is a scarf. Simple. <laughs> Such a shame. do 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 I want to go to Disney. Especially since Disney's open. Disney's safe. America's doing good. I feel safe there. Or I feel like I would be safe there. Do we really need both owners of Honey Dukes? Exactly. I mean, I don't know where they would ever put the other one if they only did do one. But, like, still, you really couldn't give us anyone else. Anyone. Or at least more winter clothes. Like... Kidding me? I have watched The Bad Batch. I watch it every week when it comes out. And then I also watched the first episode of Modoc, which is not a show appropriate for everyone. And I made a tweet about this as well. It reminds me of the Harley Quinn animated show. But, like, for Marvel. But it's just, it feels, it's worse, slightly, as well. So there's that. And then I also watched High School Musical, the musical, the series, which I loved that last episode. Made me really happy. Would you recommend Modoc for me? Yes, Boost, I think you'd enjoy it. It's not as good as Harley. And the camera's very shaky. And it's not... It's animated, but it's not, like, drawn animation. It's, like, stop motion. But I still really like it. It does the same thing where you focus on a villain and you get to know more about, like, the kind of world that they exist in. And for that reason, I like it. Right, tea break, because this is going to get cold. See, here's the thing, Riley. I mean, technically we're COVID safe everywhere. I'm just more shut. I, Western Australia shuts down their borders so quickly that I feel like I would get stuck. <laughs> I want my vaccine, people. I want my vaccine. It's what I'm waiting for. We'll get there one day. What are you hoping for next year's Harry Potter Way of Holly? Literally, watch the video that I made for what I hoped for this year's Harry Potter wave, and besides Forks and Honey Dukes, everything carries over. I still want a Shrieking Shack. I really hope they do Deathly Hallows next year. I really hope. What building do you want to be a future modular? I would love a hospital. I want to also say like a, a, like a newspaper building, but like now that we've got the butyl, I don't think that's happening. Another, um... 
skyscraper though would also be really cool. It would be cool to get like some modular apartments. Like an, an apartment building. I feel like that would be quite fun. Come to New Zealand, no risk here. I actually am going to New Zealand in August. I'm excited for that. It should be fun. Sad that people beg for vaccines, but at the place I went to, many few people were refusing to take it and they had to throw the extras out. I feel like that's what's happening here. I really do. Like, my my dad's had his first one and my mum's booked in to get hers. So I'm really happy because, like, our family's all overseas. So, like, it's it's not great. Oh, I forgot a pee. I forgot one. So, like, the faster we all get vaccinated, the faster we'll be able to see our family again. Which would be nice. Because we were supposed to go last year. <laughs> Empire State Building would be cool to get as a modular. I mean, isn't that just that architecture set? Vince, thank you so much for becoming a member. I'm about to burp. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm good. <laughs> thank you. Brittany, that's my exact mentality. I'm like, can you just open it up to everyone? Okay. Like, I know the whole, like, recommendation being like, oh, no, like, we're saving the, the Pfizer one for all, the, for all the youngsters. Like, that doesn't mean you can't just open it up to everyone. Like, it, you have a choice. Wait. <sighs> Does anyone else feel like they're making so many mistakes when they build? Okay, I should probably respond to my mum. I want a crumpet. But I've also only just finished breakfast. Crumpets. But I just had breakfast. So I'm not hungry. There we go. I get it today. If I was at C. <laughs> this thing must be a pain to build. Oh, thank you, Vince. It is. I mean, here's the thing. I know someone asked me this earlier. This is not as enjoyable as Diagon Alley, and I feel like that's purely because I like the type of building that, like, Diagon Alley has being, like, a, a building. Whereas this is a castle. This is, this is a lot. But also there's a lot more, like, fiddly pieces and things like that. Like, the whole thing's microscale. I've made another mistake. The instructions also aren't particularly clear a lot of the time. Oh, wait... I see what I've done. I, you know where it says like times two? I didn't do one times two. <laughs> My mum did that the other day when we were building the friend set. The old friend set, not the new friend set. Don't get concerned. Not concerned. Don't get confused. There we go. Got it. What's my favourite minifig in the Daily Bugle? Black Cat. I love her. You build the 2021 TIE Fighters, you can build anything now. Spruce, that wasn't even the hardest Star Wars set. I don't know why you struggled so much with that. Makes zero sense. Just kidding, this is a judgment-free zone. People can struggle with whatever sets they struggle with. We're all good. Okay, I see. Got it, alright. Yeah, I just, I like buildings like modulars and things like that. And just like... So, like, Diagon Alley for me was a lot more fun. But the building experience for that was also horrible because I was sick. So, <laughs> there's that. Oh. Sorry, I just had a, just had a moment of reflection there. Um, what am I missing? There we go. I'm building creative beach house right now. I love those little creative sets like that. I really want the fish tank out of this year. I'm halfway through building Diagon Alley. What's your favorite part of the four builds? Mine was Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. Next to that, I really liked Ollivander's. Do you struggle building Lego Duplo? Yes. I also didn't know that apparently Lego Duplo and regular Lego can interact with each other. I didn't think that that was a thing. I still haven't seen proof, but apparently that's a thing. Oh, what's your favourite Harry Potter character? Draco, Neville, or Hermione? I want some of the Infinity Saga sets. But, like, I want the compound. But it's $150 here. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. 
I mean, I can get it relatively early, so like, I might do it. I really like the Benator as well, but that's, it's like, it's not my favorite. And once again, it's very expensive, so I'm probably just gonna leave that one as is and just let it, let it do there. How long do you think you'll keep this stream up for? I keep all of the Hogwarts ones up on the main channel. Can I get a shout out? What if I say no, Zach? Does that count? It's technically. Oversized Iron Monger. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I, I can't believe that. But yeah, to me, I'd like I'd I'd jump on the bugle before way before any of that. I also didn't really like the the Black Panther shuttle one. Like my favorites are the Benator and the Compound, which of course, unfortunately, they're the most expensive ones. Uh oh, there we go. When are the Infinity Saga sets releasing? For me, they come out June first. For North America, they come out in August. See what I mean? Like, I can get them early. Bugle is the best set of all time, though. I definitely think it is one of them. And I've, I've said this before, but, like, I think the appeal to the Bugle is that it doesn't fit in with, like, any movie. Like, it's just its standalone thing. Like, it's kind of like the video game. Like, I feel like it fits in better with the video game than it would any movie. And I love that. I love that. Lego really hit the nail on the head with that one. <laughs> Has anyone heard the song Good For You? It's been stuck in my head all day. I can't stop singing it. Good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me. If you ever get to ask, good for you. Is that a dark red? Yes, it is dark red brick. What do you think about the Everything is Awesome set? Right. So this is something that's actually popped up on land now, and I read this thread last night. Do I lick Pokemon? No. So the Everything is Awesome set's a really interesting one for me because I've never really been one to, like, talk about that type of thing on this channel. Like, I don't want to talk about it and then open people up to be attacked. Because I don't want that. And as... As a creator like myself, like creating content and things like that, like I have a responsibility to create a safe space for everyone that watches. And I hope that anyone can come in here and feel wanted and feel safe and feel included and things like that. So when I saw this thing kind of get announced and everyone's talking about it, I, I saw it and I was like, I don't feel comfortable making a video on this. Because I don't want to make a video on it and then have people saying hateful things, being like, oh, this is, this is disgusting, this is, this is racist and all of that. Like, no, like, because I don't want someone in my audience who, like, feels a part of that community to then read that and then feel hated and feel attacked and feel not wanted. And that, yeah, that to me is not great. So then, Holly makes me feel less awkward. Thank you. Yeah, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to make a video on it because I'm like, I don't want someone to, to feel excluded. I don't want someone to feel like they're not appreciated or that, like, they're any different from anyone else. Like, Lego thinks, I saw this comment where Lego doesn't think that it's a political set. However, what was brought up on land was that, um... Like, if you take a look at, like, the different countries' Lego websites, there's at least four of them that they linked that didn't post the set at all. So I'm like, you could always turn the comments off. I feel like that's, like, a chicken way out, though, to me. Like, I know that, like, it's a way to protect everyone else, but I don't want it to even have to be able to get to that point. Yeah, that's what I'd heard as well, that Justin's comment section was atrocious. And I'm like, I don't want someone to read that before, like, either I could see it or turn off the comments and then just get upset. Like, that's that's not what I'm here for. But even Lan, like, they kind of said, and it wasn't just about this set. It was even, they even mentioned, like, Bionicle and how people are saying that Lego photographers aren't, like, real fans and things like that. So they were just saying, like, hate in the AFOL community. And it was kind of borderline, like, oh, um... 
like, what was it? Even if you, like, think this this is political or not, like, you need to be here because other rifles are getting attacked. And to me, I kind of read that and I'm like, it kind of feels like they're, like they're wanting us and they're telling us you need to talk about this, this set and kind of what's happened and like the discussions that are having around it. And to me, I'm like, no, like I don't want to open up hate. I don't want to give people an audience to spread hate to other people in my community. Like, no, like everyone is welcome. Everyone is accepted. Like... I want you to feel like you can have a great time and feel like you are safe. And by talking about that and making a full video on it, I'm not doing my job. Doing that for my audience. And that's basically my standpoint. I'm like, no, I'm, I don't want people to have a platform to spread hate like that. Like, no, I'm not doing it. There's all, there's no point to do so. You would basically lose the discussion and people who might take the comments off thing wrong exactly but another thing that was brought up even on the threads it's like no matter what like there's gonna be hate around it if you post about it it's like oh lego's profiting off of this like this is bad like oh they're they're being racist because they're using stereotypical like hair pieces and things like that and then if you don't post about it it's like oh you're a racist and you're a homophobe so there's no there's really no winning like, if you post about it, you're doing the wrong thing. If you don't post about it, you're also doing the wrong thing. Which is a horrible mindset that, like, everyone, like, people have in general. And, like, I'm not a fan of that at all. Because, like, I don't see it that way. Like, I'm out here, I, to me, I just, I, I want to protect people. I don't want someone to see a comment that someone, someone else wrote. And then feel horrible. So, I hope you all can see that. But one of my favourite things about it, and I know this is more from like a just as a Lego set point of view, I really like the Hermione hairpiece in pink. I love that monochrome pink figure. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to get the set, but I might order the pieces off Bricks and Pieces so I can have a monochrome pink figure because I just feel like that would look really sick. I know, it's so sad, Lachlan, because it's like, it, like, no matter what, like, none of, like, who you are doesn't affect like the like things you can enjoy like just because i'm a female doesn't mean that i can't enjoy lego just because i'm white doesn't mean i can't enjoy lego so i like it same thing applies like we can enjoy what we want so it's really sad that people can't even let just people feel included and people feel appreciated and represented like no 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 but to be honest I'm, I'm shocked that Lego even did that in the first place considering like what happened with like the Osprey and things like that like I, I'm surprised it existed or it exists are there any themes you would like to be revived I know everyone's been talking about Indiana Jones at the moment but for me, Pirates of the Caribbean, I feel like I like a lot of people. What Lego said were you talking about? The everyone is awesome set. I'm so annoyed at the toxicity of 2020 has brought itself to 2021. It's like you weren't invited. Mm -hmm. Like people are just so mean to other people. Like, come on, just let people enjoy what they want. Just people like, yeah, they probably have. <laughs> I know, they definitely have. But even then, it's like, just because they've experienced worse doesn't mean that they deserve to have bad things happen in general. I respect the Lego, I, sorry, I respect Lego for making this set, but at the same time I'm disappointed in the negative and toxic people in the community. Exactly. Like let the let people enjoy it. If you don't if you don't want to enjoy it and it's not for you, that's fine. And that doesn't mean that other people can't. I wanna ride one of those bouncy balls with the handles, the space hoppers. I love those. Ugh. 
They should have made a Flying Dutchman. Exactly. That's the only reason I feel like Pirates of the Caribbean should come back. Is because they never made the Flying Dutchman. I've done this wrong. There we go. It's really sad how people are being so toxic. Like, people are already sad and depressed because of the pandemic, so don't try and make them feel even more terrible. Exactly. And you also never know what people are going through. Like, you never know. That's why you gotta be nice to everyone. I didn't know that he even talked about it, Asian. Did he do a video on it or something? Or is it just in, like, his space? Because that's really unfortunate to see. Do I like Maroon 5? I like some of their songs. I do. 4am in Bristol. Joe, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. No, his community, not him. Okay, so he didn't even, like... I guess, I mean... He has servers and all that. He could probably... People would pro probably just post things in general. I've been hated on just for fun. They come to my channel just to hate. Like, bro, I have a learned subs. Why are you here? Yeah, that's not good. No one deserves that. Positive vibes only. Exactly. Agent, I'd love to hear more about that. Can you, like, talk me through it on, um... On Instagram. I just want to go through McDonald's drive through on a space hopper. <laughs> I saw a photo once where people dressed up as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then went through the McDonald's drive through because, it, get it, was an invisible car. I got ditched with my friend again. What do I do? TNT, if your friends are ditching you, this is the best advice that I can give you because this happened to me. If they're ditching you, it's not worth chasing them. Takes me back to the, to the quote I said the other day based off a song, is that you are better alone than feeling lonely around other people. And just because you are, like just because you would feel alone doesn't mean that you are lonely. They are two very different things. Don't isolate yourself from people. That is very important because that is never good. No matter how much alone time you feel like you may need, or that someone needs, you can never, never isolate yourself. Like, you need to talk to people about what you're feeling. You need to remember that people are there for you. And things like that. So yeah, if they're, if they're ditching you, it's not worth chasing them. I found a friend that was really into Lego and I got hit back into it and I'm pumped. Nice. Holly can build pipe. Hey Pen, how are you going? <laughs> oh. I wanted to talk to you about something earlier, but I forgot what it was and I didn't get managed to message you before I started streaming. Sorry. <laughs> I think anyone anybody should enjoy everything, not just certain people. If you walk out of a store with a rainbow leg of set, people judge so much. If you enjoy, good for you. Their opinion doesn't matter. I think that applies with, like, everything and not just that set. Because I know for the longest time I was always like, Oh, I don't want to, um... Like, I don't want people to know. Just got off work, but I'm here now. Yay! Hope you had a good day at work. Um, yeah, it's like, I always used to feel so awkward if someone was to see me carrying around a Lego set. Like, no matter what it was. Even if it was, like, a licensed... Thing. Like, even, even if it's Harry Potter, and, like, people knew that I was a Harry Potter fan, like, I would still feel awkward. It's like, just let people enjoy what they want. It's like that one guy on Twitter that, like, everyone was responding to, and I thought of a witty thing, so I tweeted it, and it was like, oh, what's with all these, like, man-children, like, playing with toys all of a sudden, like, grow up or something. And I'm like, just let people enjoy what they want. Oh my gosh. Like, what's wrong with people wanting to have fun and do something he's like oh they probably make like swishy noises so i thought of this really witty reply which was ha jokes on you i'm a female <laughs> i was like this is, this is brilliant firstly like go me secondly just let people have fun like if it's not harming you why is it an issue 
Why is it an issue? He's trying to be funny. He's trying to spend so much hate. I was like, dude, get over yourself. Wait, Asian, you're in California? What? Have you ever thought about getting a mermaid tail? I was obsessed with the idea of getting a mermaid tail when I was a kid because there was this YouTube series, which still exists if anyone wants to go and watch it, called Secret Life of a Mermaid. And it was like these tween girls who made themselves mermaid tails out of those like mermaid flippers that you could get in the US and would like make this entire like TV series and put it up on YouTube. And it was the best thing ever. <laughs> I loved it. Oh. I, I really love it. Hey, at least they aren't someone who doesn't have a life and just criticizes people on the internet behind a screen a day on Twitter. Well, I mean, that's what that person was doing. <laughs> Feel bad for him. I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, I used to watch it. Thank you. It was like my favorite thing ever. And like, oh, I didn't realize like how good their views were. Like, dude, they were on fire. It was amazing. <laughs> favorite set. I really want to do a video actually of like my top um, my top 10 sets of all time, or even top five. Um, I feel like the Disney castle is number one. The Disney castle, Diagon Alley's up there. I feel like the Daily Bugle will be up there when I get it. But also, underrated one, Jolon Mustafa. That thing, I, I love that set. Oh, and the Mystery Machine. <laughs> That's another good one. I feel like those have to be my top five. You mean no? I'm talking about the the people collecting Lego, or now that you or now you're changing topics. I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. What's the best set to buy for a Harry Potter fan? It's going to be the new bathroom set. You know, I love how dis how the Disney castle looks, but I do not own it. How do you not have that set yet, Pen? Like, I know that it's one of those things where, it, like, I know Lego is that thing where it's like, if you don't get a set when it comes out, you're probably never going to go back and get it because there's going to be newer, better stuff that comes out. But I think that one's, like, such a staple. See, Pen, if you don't get it by the time that I'm allowed to travel and go to Disneyland, I'm, I'm going to have words with you. Pen, are you going to come to Disneyland with me when I go? I want to meet up with my internet friends. <laughs> Day trip out, we all go. Sounds fun. <laughs> but I will. Nice. I was so scared that it was going to retire before I'd get a chance to get it. Luckily that didn't happen. Oh no, I've missed a thing again. Yeah, I'm very lucky that that didn't happen. I will not beat up Pen. That's, that's not me. I'm mean. I want to Lego Builder. Land, maybe not vibing with Kelly right now. Fair enough. I mean, I really want to go to... The only reason I want to go to Disneyland, one, is because it's closer, but two, it's now got the Avengers Campus, which Orlando's never going to have because of Universal Studios' rights. But I really want to go to... Um, I really want to go to Orlando as well because I want to go to Diagon Alley and Toy Story Land and all these other things. So when the day comes that I can go, I'm doing a, I'm doing a... Bellatrix had to go early. Oopsie. She had a, she had family stuff. She was like hanging out with her family. But I'm glad she's left that impact on people. <laughs> Pen wouldn't fight with his words. Pen's too good of a... My intent's breaking on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kita Yoda, how could you? How could you? See, I want to go to Florida because I have plenty of online friends down there. See, completely fair. I also know that, like, just judging on what I've done, like, with my family holidays before, Orlando is, like, pretty easy and manageable to do. I've convinced myself that I can drive on the other side of the road. So, like, I'm all up for renting a car and, like, renting, like, a house and then just driving up to the parks every day. I can see myself doing that. So come on, internet friends. Band together with me. We can all split the cost. 
Gotta get, gotta get Brendan, um, Brendan on board. <laughs> it is not my fault. I didn't do anything. What did I do, punk? What did I do? How long have you collected Lego for? I always say that it's 2007, but I did have a few, like, classic sets and stuff before then. I've not seen the Flash and Supergirl musical episode, no, but I remember going back and watching all the Glee episodes that they were in when I found out that they were in Glee, because I couldn't remember that they were in it, even though I'd seen the episodes. Uh, what's the oldest set that I have? I'm pretty sure it's the 2004 Night Bus. Which, honestly, I haven't, un which I haven't even learned for that long. Yes, Brady. <laughs> That's so true, Pen. It's like, I reckon, like, easily could get a group of, like, at least four. At least four. Which also then means you have a great number. If we can get to six, then we can all fit on the cars ride. So... That's my, that's my plan. <laughs> I mean, not that we can literally plan anything until everyone's allowed to come out. <laughs> but I hope that we could do that one day. I've gone to Disney every summer for as long as I can remember, but then COVID happened. Yeah, I've been, t I've been a year, I think. I think there's like maybe one or two years that I haven't, haven't been, at least in like the last... 10 years or so. so I'm, I've been very lucky and I look back through all of the photos and like you can see the theme park go, going along and changing. Like I literally saw one right the other day from when I went in 2016 and it was a photo of me standing in like the Bugs Life area at California Adventure looking at the Tower of Terror and now I'm like none of that exists. The Tower of Terror is now the Guardians ride and a Bugs Life is now Avengers Campus which is about to open so like wild. Are you gaming this, Arvo? I want to. I do. I'm tempted to do Mario Kart. Depending on how much time I have, I might do another game as well. Because I feel like I can't do Mario Kart for over an hour. Otherwise, I get bored. So maybe we'll do something else. We'll see. But I do want to do something at least. Oh, wait. I've got to keep going with those. There we go. Monsters Inc. or Up. Monsters Inc. but Up's more emotional. Everyone should leave the stream. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? I remember sitting in front of a Bug Life ride drinking mockers after we rode what the right water rafting ride. <gasps> I remember that ride. Is that... That's the one in, um... Animal Kingdom, right? Like the one with like the round, the round tubs or something. Oh, that was a nightmare. I remember going on that. And then I went on Expedition Everest and I was drenched. And then it started raining. So then we wanted to dry off. So we went and watched the Finding Nemo musical. <laughs> Good times. Good times. <laughs> What's a good Nintendo game that you can recommend to a new Nintendo player? Mario Kart. Mario Party's also good if you've got Nintendo Online or people you can play it with in real life. I mean, some of the Mario games are really good as well, but like, I don't always reach for them. Thank you, Mike. Ironic that you said that and your name is Mike. I like that. <laughs> that puts a smile on my face. Mario Party's frustrating as heck. It is not. You know what's frustrating is the fact that my sister still hasn't given me back my copy of Mario Kart. I mean Mario Party. Yes, that one. You see, we went ride. It was during Dark. Yeah. Water rafting rides is a can of worms. I remember going on one with like my parents when we were in a very similar ride there. Time got off completely. People were soaked way on it because there was no line because it was kind of cold. And we're all in like our raincoats and we were just sat there completely drenched. <laughs> They're risky. Like, I remember there was a water ride in Universal Orlando. 
And I think it was, um, it wasn't the water rafting ride. It was like that cartoony, like, boat ride. And I was like, hey, this ride looks cool. But yeah, can't say that I'm, wait a second, am I missing a piece? Oh, no, it's here. And I was like, I'm not going to go on it because we're about to walk over to, to Harry Potter. And I don't want to stand in the line for Harry Potter in the dark and be wet and cold. So no. My sister got drenched and then we got to Harry Potter. Turns out we had lunch before and then she dried off by the time we got on it. So I could have gone on it, but um, you know, <laughs> at least I prepared. It was all good. <gasps> Bag 15, let's go. What's the time? One o'clock. All right, yeah, we can keep going. Mostly kind of had the Frozen Sand System one division set made. Do you mean you set made? Like you actually got the pieces for it or do you mean set made as in I made it? I really want to rebuild my Hulkbuster set from 2015. Ever visit, interested in visiting the UK? Joe, I'm trying to get there. I want to see my family again. <laughs> I was supposed to go last January, no, last June, July. Last July. That got cancelled. Then we rebooked flights for this July. Didn't book the rest of the trip, but that also got cancelled. Flight for next May, because that's when my nan's birthday is. So hopefully we can go. Hopefully I can finally get back to the studio tour. That would be such a fun vlog. I kid you not. Me going to the studio tour. Dude, that's gonna be hype. If I can as well, I want to try and get to Paris to go to Disneyland again. <laughs> I doubt anyone's going to want to join me besides my sister, so that might be hard to do. But how many bags was this set again? I think it was 37. I had to pull all of them out to get the bags because I finished the little box of bags that I had. But don't quote me on that. I kind of want to change my name because I'm a small channel and I want to grow my channel. But when they search my channel name, they see the real Jedi Bob. What do I do? I would change it if you want to. But also, don't let that affect you. Are you into H2O TikTok? I used to be. Back when it was like a major craze, that's how- And if you have any Lego sets lying around, build them. It has 40 total bags, some unnumbered. Oh, 40. Damn. Thanks, Ben. Do -do -do -do. Hello from Mexico. I was about to say Italy, and then I was like, nope, Italy's asleep, and I can also see the little Marco on the flag there. I've returned from boredom. Wow, that makes me feel better. Oh yeah, it is the 30th anniversary next year. Jeez, I remember when it was like the 25th anniversary. I've got a DVD somewhere and in one of the ads. It's telling me that it's like, maybe it's the 20th anniversary actually. No, it's not the 20th anniversary. It would be the 25th. And I was like, whoa. Euro Disney's great. Underrated. That Finding Nemo ride and the Ratatouille ride. I mean, the Ratatouille ride's now moving overseas, but like the Finding Nemo ride, it's one of the best Disney rides, and it's only there in the least popular park. <laughs> I really want to go to Diagon Alley. I want to go. I want to go and I want my friends to join me, but I don't know if they will. Pretty please. Who won the contest? Can't tell you just yet. I've narrowed it down though. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes, Ace, please tell me your story. I would love to hear it. Why is my chest squeaking so much today? What is going on? Can't believe we're on the last bag. Like, this is like the first section almost done. This castle's gonna take forever. Okay. Wait, this is a times two. All right, well, let's not stuff that up again. All right, one. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, got it. <laughs> I love builds that take forever. So do I. Like, as much as, like, yeah, I'd love to have this set done, I love that I can, like, break it up into small sections so that I'm not just getting it all over and done at once. Like, that's another reason why, like, don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have been sent the bugle. I never thought that I was going to get sent the bugle, but, like, if I did, would have loved it. But at the same time, I'm glad that I didn't because... 
I know I would have wanted to like build that as soon as possible so I could do a review on it. Like I wouldn't keep it and, and build stream it early or anything like that. So I'm really glad that I can buy it and then I can take my time. Like I don't I don't have to rush that. Like I can do it over the course of a few days like I did with the Disney castle. It'll be really nice. Have I got vaccinated? No, but I'm telling you right now, the day that I am eligible, I will be there. First first in line. I want it very badly. I want to get vaccinated. I've so much so that I've even put myself down for the email notifications to tell me when I'm going to be eligible. <laughs> I'm desperate people, I'm desperate. Even now I'm still desperate, even though it's not as big of a priority. Still am. I might have to go to bed early tonight so I may not watch the stream. That's alright, Asian. After all that you were like, yeah, do Mario Kart, now you're not even showing up. Wow, fine. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> Just kidding. Have fun, minifigures assemble. Does being a YouTuber make building less enjoyable? Not necessarily, although I will say that like whenever I buy a set I'm like I should build stream this because then like even though it's only like two short ads at the beginning of the stream and really doesn't make that big of an impact it makes me feel like I can earn some of the money back off it. But also I just like, I like hanging out and I like chatting. So I like having sets that I can build so that I can have that opportunity to do it with people. But then there's also times where I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like build streaming. I don't really want to have the pressure of like talking and building at the same time. Like build streams are so much fun. Like I feel like I can really relax. I can really get to know you guys. We can talk about things that we probably wouldn't be able to at any other time. Besides like the gaming streaming channel and all that like I feel like the only time that it takes away from it is if you're rushing to be early and to be first you really lose a lot of the excitement of building when you do that and like while I still want to be early and still want to, to like get these sets as soon as like I can and be available I'm not gonna rush just for the sake of getting a review out early because then I lose that enjoyment and experience and I feel like if I got to like sit down and review it I'm not going to be as like excited and things like that like for example with all of the Harry Potter sets I was like I need to get these done as soon as possible so that like I have more time to like work on my reviews and things like that but even then I wanted to spread them out throughout the days because the worst thing you can do if you're gonna post videos on YouTube because it's like yes you do like you do have to try and be as early as possible but you can't let that thought consume you because when it does it gets very messy very quickly very very quickly it's a downward spiral from there Alex thank you so much for the two pounds can this become an Olivia Rodrigo stand channel yes Good for you and enough for you, I'm telling you right now. They they hit different. They're amazing songs. They make me very emotional. I love it. I love it. What would your top preference be for the Harry Potter 250D to see? Alright, well we know it's going to be buildable objects, so let's just forget that that's actually a thing and pretend that, you know, that um, we're actually going to get something really good. I would love it to be like the Shrieking Shack or Gringotts, or Grimmauld Place. Something that we haven't gotten. Ministry of Magic. Something fun. Can I tell you something sad? Will you remember the family member I told you who worked on a few Batman films? Yes, please don't tell me that he lost the Batarang. <laughs> Off to bed now. Thanks for the great content. I love your videos. Thanks, Joe. Have a good sleep. No, don't even have a good sleep. Have a great sleep. I've never been in a relationship and yet Rodrigo's songs hit closest to home somehow. They really do. I mean, they can be applicable to a lot of situations. Like, for her, in her case, like, she's singing about how quickly her ex-boyfriend moved on with someone else. 
He died yesterday. Oh, TNT, I'm very sorry. That's really sad. I hope it was of old age and not something else. But yeah, it's like, even though, like, that ex the experience of, like, having someone move on in, like, two weeks with another girl, like, that's not going to apply to very many people. <laughs> Like, even then, it's like I'm listening to it and I can think of other areas that it applies to and I'm like, wow. The power and talent of this person. Unless there's more of the Shrieking Shack after Azkaban, I can't see it being a D to C. Something Barrow-sized, absolutely. I definitely think something Barrow-sized would work better for it. Because, like, even though it's a very important part to Harry Potter, it's not in it very much. Like, they really didn't focus in it. That's alright, TNT. You don't have to. I just hope you're coping and that you're doing okay. And I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, sad times. Sad times. Oh, wait, where's that supposed to go? These trees look kind of funky. Hmm. That's such a missed opportunity. I'm not fond of the buildable objects. I'm interested to see what they're like, as always. Like, it could be like Star Wars where everyone complains and then turns out some of them are better than we all thought. But at the same time, not, not too overly keen for them. I remember, um being told by someone that they could potentially um, be all of the different um, like horcruxes and that would be really cool. I personally, like as much as I'd love that, I don't think that's going to happen. Purely because I feel like they would just go the simple route of like Harry's glasses and a wand and a few, few spell books over here. Same here, Pen. Like not like the ones that they put in with the build of a figures, like actually actual one designs. Like, look at Hermione's with, like, the the vines around it and things like that. Do you think the DTC will come with minifigs? By the way, I love your vids. Thank you! Um, I apparently there's gonna be golden figures according to promo bricks in them. But I don't think there'll be, like, actual minifig minifigs besides them. UCS Dobby? No, UCS Dobby's sock. Thank you. Why do you feel bad for your family for, for needing to go? That reminds me, actually, I need to wake up early tomorrow for that reason. Ugh. Because <laughs> I'm going to a dance competition. Which I'm actually very excited for. Even though it's only to watch. Uh, it'll be fun. UCS Dobby would be amazing. It really would. Exactly, Pen. That's what he said. I was like, that's genius. That is genius. One of the last good memories I have is that we did what I said and put the props in a locked container. That's really good. I'm glad that you have a good fond memory to think of. Like full scale sort of Gryffindor please. Yes. <laughs> Like, I feel like that's going to be the best case scenario version. Oh, I see, Asian. I see. I'm glad that you were able to make it, though. Eh. I think there will be at least one golden figure because of the prior because of a price leak that everyone forgot about. I know, I can't keep up with what's leaked and what's not at these at this point. <laughs> I can't remember what's just a theory, what's leaked. What can I say? What can't I say? I miss going to dance competitions. They had such a chaotic vibe. It was amazing. I know. I'm so excited to go, even though I know it's going to be very weird. Like, even though, like, we haven't got that many restrictions, it's still going to be very, very strange. I'm pretty sure we still wouldn't be able to, like, cheer or scream. Because I know they put re restrictions on singing. 
recently. Oh no, they came, they got let go. Never mind. That's not a thing anymore. We're all good. Oh hey, beef up. Doing better, pick a brick. Doing better. We're chugging along. No, we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do a, Not not going full sad story today. Yeah, my stream's not gonna be the place for it. I need to talk. I I want to talk to people about it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that here. Not today. Holly can't do eyeshadow. Holly can, just can't do it to make it look like Lego bricks. Okay, there's a difference. It's late here, so good night. Good night, Abba. Abba Sin. I'm just gonna say Nate. Good night, Nate. <laughs> there was a gold hair piece that leaked, so who knows? Okay, I don't remember seeing that. Jerks, I am a land member. I do not see anything. I know nothing. That's a lie. I see things. My Chamber of Secrets towers were backwards in the vid last. The tower on the left was supposed to be on the right, I think. Oh yeah, that's just bit, that was just like a random order. It wasn't supposed to be like perfect, perfect. I just stuck them there so everyone could see the roof. I was like, yeah. We're all good. Have you ever wanted to do something when you're older but wanted to do multiple things so you, you did not know how you would do all of them? I hope that makes sense. Yes, because something I've always wanted to do in the back of my mind was work at Disney as a character performer, but I've never known how I was going to do that. Especially now, I don't think that's ever going to happen. You think land members have it bad? I know some Lego store employees, they can't even imply anything. Yeah, that's true. That would be even worse. I feel so sorry for like those store employees. That That's rough. Well, I mean, technically we're not even supposed to imply that much. I mean, they're not going to kick us out if we did, but we're not supposed to. So, there's that. It's 4am in Lisbon. I really need to go to bed. Jeez, David, please enjoy your sleep. Look at that. Sand green's back. Hello, sand green. Here's the thing with the sand green, right? Like... I think it works really nicely for the sets because the rock formation is dark grey. Like if you look at this, the dark the rock formation's dark tan, it's different. But like in the newer sets they've just used grey and all that. So like now if, when I change the roofs, all the colours kind of blend into one another and it doesn't quite look um as good, I wanna say. But then again, I'd rather have all of my castles match. And I don't want to go and buy a bunch of sand green because that's going to be even more expensive. So I'd rather take the cheap option. <laughs> Is the new or old Lego Chamber of Secrets better? I don't own the old one. But like the new one's not really a chamber. It's, I mean it says, it, the title's literally Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. But like it feels more just like a generic Hogwarts castle than it does the Chamber of Secrets. But it's still a really good set. But I definitely feel like the old one kind of hit the, the name a bit better. Wait, 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 no. Angle, angle, angle. There we go. I did it. <laughs> I'm an expert builder. The new one is better, TBH. Yeah, I... I mean, in terms of a Chamber of Secrets, I think the old one's better, but as a set in general, the new one's better. What's your favourite Lego colour? Mine's teal, or retro transparent bright green. Mine's bright pink. No, the hot pink. That pink. Or, like that dark azure colour, this one. That one. I love that colour. Very pretty. Also, I don't know why Mrs. Norris wasn't included in the One Pink Willow. I know! Oh, like, honestly, I look back at that and I'm so glad that I've got my Mrs. Norris, um, 
from the 2010 Hogwarts, which even could have been Crookshanks, but I just count that as Mrs. Norris. I'm like, why does she keep getting cut? She deserves time to shine. Also, someone commented on my video, right, on Looney Tunes, saying that they put one of the Speedy Gonzalez cheese slope pieces in Diagon Alley, where, like, the little um, mouse was looking for it, and I just thought that was genius. I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I plan on doing that. I loved that idea. Also, I know why, what happened to her, and why she's not included. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's way before that that happens, though. Like, if they, can, if they can put Cedric Diggory in his final challenge attire in a CMF, surely they could include Mrs. Norris in a scene that happened way before. Like, Colin Creevy and Nearly Headless Nick and Justin Finch Fletcher, like they all get petrified. And they're all in the Chamber of Secrets set. <laughs> Lego, what you doing? Oh, look at the, all the little Dementors. Or I could, I could call them, um... Palpatines. Maybe because she got stuck to a wall. Okay, fair enough. How are we just getting cheese prints on cheese slopes? I don't know. Overdue. It really is overdue. Five. There we go. Mold Dementor. These Dementors are cute. I don't know what to do with my micro figures because, like, I don't really want to open them. But at the same time, I did want to do a review of this set, and I feel like I can't do that if I don't open the micro figures. There we go. Oopsies. There we go. Boop. Those ones are hard to click on. I didn't actually know that they were on the back here. Crookshanks needs to get his own mold. The one in the Harry Potter games looks great. It would look better in real life. I know. Like, I wonder if LEGO can access, like, the molds that TT Games use for things like that. Like, R2-D2, for instance, I would love to see a redone mold of, like, R2-D2's body so that you can put one of these blue Technic pins at the bottom and a cheese slope. But the way that the mold works, you can't do that. I tried it. It doesn't, doesn't happen. We're always right. Not necessarily, but often. See, even no. Oh, even now, I think cheese slopes are a new piece, even though they've had them around for a decade. Like, it doesn't have access to GT stuff? That sucks. That really sucks. Could have got some amazing things if they did. I mean, I guess, I guess they could use it as inspiration. I mean, they'd have a contract, wouldn't they, somehow? I don't know. Bloop. Wait, why have I got one extra of these? Do you usually get an extra flagpole piece? That doesn't seem right. Oh, the next bag is Helga Hufflepuff. But I don't want to open it yet. <laughs> but it's Helga Hufflepuff. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'd love to, Brady. Also, everyone, I now that like I'm done with all of my reviews, I could take the um, Sword of Godric Gryffindor off Harry from the Chamber of Secrets, so I swapped it out. So I put him with regular Godric Gryffindor, and that looks so much better. <laughs> See, now looking back, it's like this castle could have been so much better if they had all of these pieces at the time. There we go, there's the Great Hall. It's very cute. Lots of tables, lots of stained glass windows. There's no fireplace. I just realized that's interesting. There's a chamber of secrets as well. Oh, true, Molly Weasley. Sorry, no, Mrs. Flume. Mrs. Flume's in the next bag. Where do you stand on the st sticker debate, personally? I don't have an issue, really, because it makes them so much easier for marks. I like the stickers. Like, I don't like too many stickers, and I feel like there are some pieces that should be prints, like anything that's a one by one. Don't. Don't give me a sticker, just just print it. But like, for bigger things? I don't care. I really don't care. Damn. This is cool. Hmm. Don't know what the D word is. If, it, if, it's, if it's damn, I personally don't see that as a big issue or it's never been a big issue for me. 
I don't know. Open the bag in honor of our fellow Hufflepuffs like Ash. Where is it? It's on the floor. I feel like I should just wait for the next one, then we can start off. With a figure. Rather than end with a figure right now. This is so cool though. I love this. And the fact that we get to the next we next get to do the um the big tower, which at the top has the Gryffindor Tower, which then will set the height of everything. Which will be cool. Hufflepuffs represent. <gasps> Penny, you're Hufflepuff too. I mean that makes sense. That makes sense. Why is there just things empty at the back there with grey? I don't get it. I don't get it. Speed Champions uses way too many stickers. I mean, I wouldn't say too many, but there are definitely pieces that should have been prints in them. I do. I do like a Jedi Bob. I feel like Studios is shorter, so that makes it a bit easier. But it's up to you. Lego has released a great haul three times in three years. This theme has been back. I find that very funny. It's true, actually. Oh, did you, pe Vince? Thank you. I will go order them shortly. I know, PC is not good. It looks really skinny. I know, the Great Hall is like... Look at that. Skinny and tall. I mean, I guess that's what it is like. But still. It looks great so far. It does. This thing is beautiful. Oops. What are your thoughts on the colour yellow? They're happy. Yellow is a happy colour. Oh, I love it. Yay, that made me happy. Oh, I've still got the, can the candy stage. <laughs> Whoopsies. That's fun. Damn, I love this thing. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Aw, cute. Alright, chat. Well, we're done building for today. Next up, in our next... Oops, wait, I need to go back. I've skipped forward too much. Next is the start of the tower, which, let me look at the bags for a second here. Okay, so I feel like we'll do three and three bags in the next stream because there's six left of this section. So that sounds good to me. And then we can do the tower. Thoughts on the Bad Batch show? I like it. I really like it. I'm going to bed now. Bye. See ya, the star. Sweet. So that's us done for another... Fluffy, get out the way. For another build stream of Hogwarts. Yay! Video's the biggest Lego flop I've seen. Every store I go to, they're all their untouched blind box cases weeks after they went on shelves. And that's because they're overpriced. See, like, why would you buy a beat box when you can just spend a few more dollars and get a full set? Don't know. Am I going to do Fortnite later? Probably not today, but we will do some sort of game stream. Just sending some support for your amazing channel. Thank you so much, Jane, for the $10. I mean, it means a lot to me. Thank you. Fluffy more like Buffy. Actually, yes. Yes. Put Fluffy in the trash. No. He's not that bad. Like, he's he's bad. But not that bad. <laughs> oh, poor Fluffy. I wish I could, like, figure out a way to mod him, but I really can't. <laughs> Dan sounds interesting, um, Anna. Save Fluffy from harassment? Yeah. So, like, Fluffy doesn't deserve harassment. We can critique him. He's not really good, but he's not horrible. He just doesn't make this... He's not worth it alone to buy the set. He's got skinny feet and grey mixel joints. Other than that, not, not bad. He's Fluffy if he were a mixel? Exactly. Would Fluffy's head fit on a raptor body? I don't know. It's got those, like, technic pieces. Like, it's got a, a hole so you can stick it there. Potentially. I don't have any raptors, so I can't try. My cat says hi. <gasps> hi to Brady's cat. At least maybe hide the grey. Yeah. I mean, it would have been very hard for them to. They need to at least recolor them into black. If they were recolored black, it wouldn't be so much of an issue. It's just the grey just stands out so much. Maybe in the future we'll get black Mixels joints and at that point I will recolor them and buy some more. Can you do a Mario Kart stream? I think we will do that today. And then maybe play another game afterwards since I can only really do Mario Kart for an hour. So I'm going to go and do a wave review 
and film a wave review on video. That will be tomorrow's video. And then the day after we'll do, we'll fix the figures. It attaches to a raptor's body, but not in a pretty way. I want to try that, but I don't have any raptors. I just knocked something off. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. I think you should buy another one of the middle fluffy heads. So you can have all three heads look angry on one side. I was tempted to do that. Or even just buy like one angry head and one sleepy head. I could potentially just get like get land support to send me another one of the fluffy sets so that I have the two heads. I can then use all of the parts for my Hogwarts mock and things like that. I don't know. Have I bought the cantina yet? No. I want to get Hogwarts done and then I feel like we'll tackle the cantina. Because that one's another one where I feel like I'm going to spread it out. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I need to start breaking down some sets and putting them in plastic bags. Maybe Bricklink or are they on bricks and pieces? I don't think they'll be on bricks and pieces. Potentially. They might. I don't think so, but they might. Bricklink, I feel like they'll be expensive because they're only in this one set and people will have the same idea. <gasps> Joe, that's so sad. Look, he can sit down. Aw, cute. <laughs> Abusing your land powers? Nah, I got for them to use. I don't know what else to get. <laughs> I really don't. Anyway, I've got to go and read through the rest of the contest picks from people. My mum's chosen. Am I going to get it in the Infinity Gauntlet? Nope. I really want the Benedict. <laughs> oh, sorry. The Guardianship, as it's called here. Endgame Final Battle. That's $150. That's the other one I'm looking at. Because I, even though the Scarlet Witch figure sucks, I love her. So, when's the gaming stream? It will probably be in an hour if anything. I mean, I've got the stream set up ready to go. Plus my console's in. All I need to do is plug in my headphones. But I also need to pee and go probably eat something. Thanks for adding happiness into my day. Thank you so much, Brady. You guys added some happiness into my day, so I really appreciate it. Alrighty, everybody. Have a great time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was a lot of fun. We'll see you soon. Really, Pen? I thought it was just us. That's that's sad. <laughs> Hopefully I can get my streaming software to work so we can have Brian for the gaming stream. No, nah, Asian, I went I went by time so that I saw them. So unfortunately those ones don't count for them. But we'll see. We're happy to hear that. Thanks. See you guys. Bye.